I am Dr. Ashana Bivodana, consultant orthopedic surgeon. I am UK qualified and specialized in Australia in the fields of knee, hip and shoulder surgery, inclusive of minimally invasive and arthroscopic surgery. On my return to Sri Lanka, together with Durden's, I created a subspecialty center of international standards in the fields of knee, hip, shoulder and sports orthopedics. In the most severe cases of knee, hip and shoulder injuries, there is significant damage of cartilage and the cartilage can be repaired with a technique called stem cell grafting. Stem cell grafting is a technique where stem cells, which are cells that can recreate any tissue, are taken from your own bone marrow. These are prepared as a graft and placed over the area where there is cartilage loss so that then the cartilage will regenerate. Stem cell grafting is an arthroscopic procedure which is minimally invasive or a keyhole procedure whereby the patient is awake. Only the area that is operated is anesthetized. There are few to no complications and the patient gets back to his daily routine in a couple of days. Mama dah mati piti nang awe, dan dah mama rakyatkan overseas vela. Mama Italia de vertis kerana dia kapar mana boleh kalan boleh boleh kerana hamba yang awas tadi shoulder ke badu na. Ia lemah perut kekuma kawa kekuma pele, ekekuma ni nena badu na. Sri Lanka team ni ke dan dah kiyakari ajantamali call tak call kerana call kerana papa ajantamali papa ni doktor kena kena aye, atau mana call kerana orang kila. Ia akar entah mana doktor Shan abewa dulu mana hamba ni. Kerana mana doktor Shan mungkin konsul kerja Durden Hospital lekai di doktor Shan kira kom critical tanah kat amat iya ni, mana dia ada stem cells kena operation kerma wedi aik negara dia ni, mana mungkin kerja barang tu kila. Sebab mama doktor Han kira papa doktor didas dah hati stem cells kena operation ni kala. Ida yang pertama mama ada pasah PRP kena injection ni kala ni nama. Makanya dawasan dawasan dah improvement pergi lah, tetapi movement seram pergi. Mama tahu mama dalam tempat kerja kerja dah kerana apa? Itu mama tahu mama kerja apa? Itu na, ini barat sabah gino, bodoh bodoh. Makanya baca kat itu, mak sama ni dalam kerja ni apa? I am Javier Mateo Sagastan, and I've been living in Sri Lanka for eight years. I love sport and I love surfing. I overdid it too much surfing, and then I started having problems with my shoulder and and deep pain. So I was looking for, for some help and I was referred to the Dordans Hospital and then there I met Dr. Ashan who, who looked at, at my problem and then recommended to make an MRI. The result of the MRI showed that I had two problems. So uh, after analyzing the problem, uh, he recommended uh, arthroscopic uh, surgery on my shoulder. Then they took stem cells from my hip and then re-injected them in the shoulder this allowed to create this clot that helped the, the cartilage to regrow. So the surgery uh, lasted like for three hours or so, and I was discharged the same, the same very day um, of the operation. It was quite painful for a while, but uh, slowly and progressively and with physiotherapy, I've been progressing and improving. So my hope is that working hard with the physiotherapist for the coming two to three months, I can uh, be fully back in business and, and surfing back again uh, as I was before. Mama, he took Jati Kandame, Sa, and the Samaja Taranga Sabona, Raga Krida Gate, Taranga Atarutura di Mage Atu Aba, Shona Aba de Katuna, Aba de Anaturu, Mama Doctor Ashanata Yomuna, Moga the Kalatise. Doktor yang mampu pertikaan lebaran itu, ina sulu-sulu abad itu, ada. Anak tu ruh doktor rekomend ke MRI ke kita, anu mana kila? MRI ke di penuna, bankat repair ke kita, anu mana shoulder ke mana atau jatuh atau kita patikaran ni lah. Paya tu nak apa mana atroskopi ke nidesha kala tiba na. Anak tu ruh surgery ke pas se masa pahala ke apa mana long period deka gya recover ni. Oko moment sama ke, nampak mama selalu kerja kerja kamu itu passing yang mana tino. Hi, I'm Tirusha J Sudarsan. My background was that I was Sri Lanka's one and only lady professional golfer. What happened was I put on a lot of weight, 
and it affected my knees. And uh, when I came back to Sri Lanka, I just asked another surgeon and he said that Dr. Ashan, he, uh, Aviratna, he might help me in this stem surgery. So I went to meet him. And uh, when we spoke about it, he said both knees would be needing surgery, but we'll start with the bad one, which was the right knee. And so I went ahead and he did a surgery on my right knee and he did the surgery. And uh, the next day they made me to walk <laughs> down the hallway of the hospital. And the third day I came home. And I think within about two weeks, that knee was okay. Uh, six months later, I had the second surgery and that too, within the next day I came home and I was walking and I was determined to get back to golf. I have had no problems with my knees. I continue to exercise and you know make sure they're okay. So here I am. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michelle Kleiss. I'm the head of school at the Overseas School of Colombo. I've been here in Sri Lanka for three years and in my first year, I started having knee problems. And uh, at some point I had um, torn my meniscus in both my left and my right knee, dislocated my left knee and needed um, stem cell injections to build the cartilage in one of my knees as well. I saw Dr. Ashana Bewardena after I was uh, recommended many people who have been treated by him. So I had surgery. It was really successful. He was really attentive and caring and it was very efficient. Um, my recovery went really smoothly and since then I've been able to um, live a really active life and walk up and down all the stairs at my school and uh, just be an active um, member of my own family. So thanks Dr. Ashan, you've made a world of difference to me. Here at Durden's we have many therapeutic options and procedures on par with international standards to treat a wide array of joint related injuries. However, early treatment of injuries is the better option to purely pain management and letting uh, an injury get neglected. Most joint injuries get progressively worse with time. Therefore, it is always better to seek early treatment before the problem gets any worse.